What do you get when you mix the Welsh countryside with the waters of the Irish Sea and seahorses? Well, apparently, some of the best tasting salt in the entire world. There I was, browsing the internet looking for stories as I often do. GBS did it, already did it, when I came across an article that caught my eye. And I thought, hmm, salt, huh? Since I'm in New York City, I decided to call my friend Jacob Harrell, who some of you might recognize from this channel, to help me do this story. Okay, thank you, Beryl, for that incredibly kind introduction. Such lovely words. Right, the lovely words. Jacob is an award-winning videographer. We've worked together for years at GBS. He was the perfect person to send on this little journey. My name's Jacob Harrell, and we're going to Wales to taste the best salt in the world. We have no air conditioning. It's a long journey. It's very hot, but this salt better be worth it. Helen Mon, we're coming for you. My name is Jess Lee Wilson. My parents founded the company about 24 years ago. In the area where we are now, on Ernestmorn, the Isle of Anglesey, it's between 70 and 80 percent of people are first language Welsh speakers. So the Welsh language is incredibly important here, which is why my parents, when they started the company, called it Halen Morn, which is literally Anglesey salt in Welsh. They had a pipeline and they paid the Queen for the water that they extracted from the sea because the Queen actually owns the coastline um, of the UK. So they did some kind of test batches and they knew the water was exceptionally clean because they'd been able to breed seahorses in the aquarium and seahorses are notoriously really, really fussy. So they thought it's probably going to make some good salt and they were absolutely right. Helen Mon salt looks, feels, and tastes completely different than ordinary table salt. Table salt can often be bitter where this one is not. It's flat and crisp and has a nice crunch when you bite into it. I'd say the number one thing that really sets Helen Mon Anglesey sea salt apart is where it's from. It's all about how clean the sea is and the process by which we make it. It goes through two natural filters, so it goes through a sand bank and it goes through a mussel bed, and mussels are one of nature's greatest sort of cleaners. From there, it goes through a few stages that lead to the final step. Each and every single flake is harvested by hand by one of our amazing salt makers. It's genuinely quite magic when you see it, because it's really kind of something coming from nothing. People say, oh, but salt's salt, isn't it? But the proof is absolutely in the tasting. Okay, time to taste salt. Okay, I'm gonna try this standard, ordinary table salt. I don't really want that. Well, it's just salty bitterness. Now I'm gonna try Hallenmon. This is it, this is the big moment. Can Hallenmon salt be better than ordinary table salt? I'm sure it is. How different is it gonna be? Oh, that is incredible. There is no bitterness in that at all. I can't describe it, it just tastes... My mind is a bit blown about how different salt can be. It makes this seem really fake and horrible and bitter. I've just eaten a lot of salt in a very short space of time. <laughs> So Jacob liked the salt, but it could have just been the fresh Anglesey air swaying him in one direction. Lucky for me, he sent me a few packets to try myself. I got the package. <laughs> Mini salt, so now I'm gonna try it for myself. I'm gonna put it on a classic American tomato sandwich. That is white bread, mayonnaise, tomato, and salt. What did you all think of the way I cut my sandwich? <laughs> Slightly disturbing, right? Okay. Honestly, you can taste the salt and it's good. I'm just gonna go with a little bit here. It's salty, but it's got like this very clean flavor. It is smooth. Whoa. I guess Jacob was kind of telling the truth and he wasn't just swept away with the winds of the Irish Sea. Is this the best salt in the world? I haven't tasted all the salts in the world, but this is definitely, definitely a good salt. <laughs> Ironically enough, just down the road from Halen Mon is another GBS story that I produce about a town called Llanfair Pochwinga Golgera Gundroba Santa Silio Gogogog, and I'm leaving it up here for you to watch.